Hey everyone, Mike Doloff, Chief Revenue Officer, Inflow Communications. I have with me my colleague, Chris Mitchell. Chris, say hello, introduce yourself. Hi everybody, yeah, Chris Mitchell, Chief Technology Officer here at Inflow Communications. Great, Chris, it's been fun talking with you about uh, Microsoft Teams, which is a big topic, and then Microsoft te Teams, where it fits in your unified communication strategy. And so continuing that theme, today we're gonna talk about part four of that, which is using Teams with your contact center technology needs. So let's dive right into that topic because we get this a lot. First question, can Teams work as my contact center solution? So Teams doesn't have a traditional contact center, you know, like offering, but they do have a feature called call queues, which can provide basic contact center functionality, you know, like hold music, you know, uh, while, while callers in queue, voicemail, overflow, interflow, but it lacks most of the more advanced features like skills based routing, data dips, screen pops, omni channel, you know, and other integrations like CRMs and stuff like that. So it can provide a light contact center, but it really can't provide a, an in depth contact center. Very good. We see this commonly. So that's good to, good to know. So then what would a Teams and contact center integration look like? Yeah, so if you're, you know, you're looking to pair a contact center solution with Teams, typically what would happen is your agents would use the contact center client, you know, typically a web page for logging in and out of their queues, you know, to view screen pops, to, you know, look at integrated data. Supervisors would still log, would log into that same, you know, platform as well for reporting, dashboards, you know, looking at status of agents, that kind of stuff. And then once a call actually comes into the contact center and needs to be delivered over to an agent or a supervisor, there's two different options that are available depending on which contact center platform you know, that a customer is using. The first is the agent actually just takes the call inside the contact center soft phone and you know, a whole separate you know, interface. And then they can you know, receive that call, place calls from there. They still have the ability to transfer calls over to a Teams extension. Maybe I need to transfer it to an accounting person who's on Teams or something like that. I still have the ability to transfer calls back and forth. But the other option is for some of the more in-depth integrations from a contact center platform is that the call comes in to the contact center platform and actually just delivers the call over to the Teams client and they actually use the Teams soft phone to place and receive calls you know, on the contact center platform. They would still use the contact center platform for logging in at a queues, but they could use the Teams soft phone for the, you know, for the endpoint. That's great. So looking into your crystal ball, which you bought on eBay for $60, well done. Um, do you ever see Microsoft offering a contact center solution or do you see them continue in this vein where they have the light flavor and then you bring a contact center solution separately? You know, with, with, with COVID and everything going on, you know, their user base, you know, grew from 44 million to 75 million really, you know, really fast. And so they're investing heavily into the team's platform. And earlier this year, they completed an acquisition of MetaSwitch, which is a, you know, a cloud uh, PBX provider to enhance the PBX features of teams long-term. So I would expect them to do the same thing on the contact center side of things is there's a lot of money being left on the table, you know, by Microsoft by not having a contact center offering. So I would expect them to, you know, over the next 12 to 24 months, look at contact center providers that are available and, and pick one of those up so they can merge that into the platform long-term. Agreed. I think another um, uh, interesting uh, theme we see of the um, CRM and contact center world converging with Salesforce and contact center, you know, growing closer and closer and with Microsoft with Dynamics and Dynamics getting more traction. I think you have another reason there for them to get into the contact center game more, uh, more fully since they have the Dynamics piece as well, as well for as sure. the Teams piece. Great. <clears throat> well, thanks for tuning in. Um, for everyone else that um, hasn't been aware of our Microsoft Teams webinar series, um, check out the link to register in the description box below. We also have uh, blogs and other videos on this topic that you should check out if this is a topic of interest to you for your organization. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.